Hi and welcome back to Grace Gardening. So I'm currently in Yorkshire, a place called Acaster, Hales Hill Farm. Come on a little camping trip for the weekend with the family. Um, look at this beautiful meadow, absolutely stunning. And look at the weather, fantastic. So I thought I'd just quick to say a quick hello from here and then we'll get back to the plot. Okay, so I'm back. Back from a little weekend away camping with the family. What a great weekend it was. Weather was fantastic, lovely campsite. But now I'm back to back down the allotment to do some jobs. So I'll take you in. Okay, here we are. Back at the plot. It's a lovely evening once again. You can see the behind me. Um, so today I'm here to uh, plant in my melons. I'll be training them up the strings. I am going to be planting in my pumpkins, planting in my courgettes and repotting my chilies, plus a few other little jobs. So let's get cracking. Okay, so I've used the same technique as I have with the tomatoes over here, whereby they're planted in pots directly into the bed, but they're bottomless pots, i.e. The, bot the bottoms of the pots have been cut out. So I'm doing the same here, but this time for the melons. And this is a melon, a Rava or Rava F1. Um, but the technique I've used to grow these, in the center here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's, that's a toilet roll filled with seed uh, and cutting compost surrounded by multi-purpose compost at the bottom and all around. So if I can get him out, I won't be able to do this one-handed. So the idea worked. The roots have gone down through the center of the toilet roll, up and around into the good compost. So that's just a technique. I did want to do a video on it showing you, but sadly I just ran out of time. And if I compare that to the melons that I grew normally, uh, they died. <laughs> so anyway, let's, let's just pop him in here. Firm him down and then put plenty of compost all around the plant. Again, a little bit deeper than he originally was and that just gives that extra stability around the bottom. No doubt new roots will come out to support the plant. Okay, so here he is. And just before I take to the next stage, these pieces of string have been connected up onto this piece of wire. So I've put this piece of wire all around the greenhouse now and it's actually come in really handy because it's also now holding back parts of the grapevine. I've popped that behind. As you can see, the new, new growth also just behind here, which just gives that a bit more support so it can grow up and over there. And I got these little clips you can see that properly, it's a bit dull, but I'll show you one on the other side. There we go, little clips to go on the greenhouse. Got them from Amazon, only a couple of quid. And they've got a little washer with them. You just pop, pop them in, put them in a washer and twist them. And they're holding, holding pretty strongly. I've chosen to use two washers, just because it uh, seems to be a lot tighter if you use two. So they're handy. Okay, so the idea with the string connected up to the top of the wire so it comes down I think what the, the what you're meant to do is plant or put the the string in underneath the plant to hold it in but I've got a load of these big pegs so I'm just going to peg the string down and then as the melon plant grows up you just gradually twist it every few days twist that around the piece of string and it'll just start climbing up and you don't need your canes or anything else that should just then hold the weight of the melon so I do need to make sure that make sure that is in 
securely, otherwise the whole thing will flop over. Uh, and just as I've been sitting here putting that in, I was I was getting dripped on. And when I trimmed the greenhouse, uh, the grapevine back before, look at all the sap that's now dripping out of it. It just shows you how much sap is, or water or fluid is inside that grapevine. And that's just been dripping all over me. So as the night goes on, that'll seal over. So I don't need to worry about it too much. But it's now dripping or crying all over me. Okay, so melons are in using the string technique. Can see just beginning to wind around it this one probably even more so and if you look really closely we already have our first melons so the flower will start on the end of there and hopefully that will turn into a melon and just over on the other side this one actually was two seeds and I'm going to do another experiment with this one so they were too tightly matted I couldn't separate them so I'm going to let this one roam all over the floor see if that makes any difference and this one's going to grow go up the string i have still got what's that six left so they definitely need putting on now i think they're already starting to look a little bit like they need to, to go in so i shall do that later on this week last pumpkin he can stay in here for now and then he'll also be going in the ground Slight update from when I just filmed this. Melon plant has gone rather large in the space of about two or three days. If you look closer, you'll be able to see some melons just beginning to form on the end, at the beginning of each of those flowers. Yeah, there's one. But on this plant here, slightly different variety. Here we go, our first proper melon forming and I've never grown melons upright before so I have no idea if it'll support the weight or how it'll look. These ones only went in afterwards or later on so they haven't got going yet um, but they will. Always remember to keep an eye on your tomato plants, any of these little side shoots just keep nipping them out. You really don't want them any energy from the plant going into the side shoots so just keep checking them because they will keep sending out new ones there's one see that there so between two um parts of the plant you just literally snip them out with your finger there we go Some new buds forming on the pomegranate. Mentioned in previous videos that I've never actually had a pomegranate. Do I need another plant? You know, there's lots of buds on this. It's a nice plant to grow because it's full of red flowers. But do I need two in order to get any pomegranates? There's now time to pot on my naga fire chilies that's so funny these were these were planted as seeds the exact same time as the tomatoes in the greenhouse now look at the size difference anyway these are chili plants they took a lot longer to germinate i hope they haven't germinated too late i've lost my little trowel so i'm just going to use a spike and just try and tease each plant out hopefully the roots don't go too deep just to let you see what I'm trying to do. Again, one-handed. With any seedlings, you have to make sure they have gone past the, 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 well, they've started developing their true leaf and it's not just a seedling leaf. So you can see these have got many leaves on them, meaning that they are now ready to pot on. So hopefully you are meant to only ever pick out with with a leaf rather than the stem, but there's quite a bit of root here. I'm just gonna have to try and dig under it. Hopefully get him out. Here we go. As you can see, plenty of roof, root, roof even, root. And if I just pop, pop him in, this is the, 
the uh, multi-purpose compost just pop him in like that there we have it moved on to the next part of his journey and again in a few weeks from now i'll probably put him into bigger pots so i'm just going to do each of those okay so here they are all potted up nicely now i managed to get all as much root out as i could popped each one in a little bit deeper than what they were when they were growing in here uh, just to give them that extra little bit of um just to firm them in a little bit more so nice good water for these because they are going to be in the greenhouse for the next well to live in the greenhouse but for now anyway they just need to be kept nice and moist and damp so they don't dry out i'll be down here every day or every other day uh, so keeping them in that tray just allows them to stay wet for a little bit longer one job i didn't get to do was to weed this bed that's a soft fruit bed so that's one thing I've got to I've got to do. Do that in the week. But here are the courgettes, looking okay. Plenty of flowers on them. I'm sure, they'll start getting going soon. And here is the pumpkins. Again, they look pretty healthy. Lots of flowers on them. But what's that? A bit of bindweed. We don't want that. I don't know who, where he is, but he's in there somewhere. Probably a robin. Quick sweet corn update. So I've got these planted in. Some are doing really well, but I think the squirrels found them and he's had a good chew on. Let's start maybe one, two, three, four. That's not too bad, I've only lost four. As you can see, some of the other ones doing really healthily. Hopefully I'll leave them alone. Well, I did want to show you my sweet corn archway. So they're just planted in when you walk through. Once they grow a bit bigger, they are going to be a little walkway. See how that goes. And also, these are my salmon berry. Can you see them? It's like a... Um, Take him off. So it's like a um, raspberry. Hmm, lovely, nice and sweet. That's the bush behind it. That was to, I grew that from a cutting, and it's literally look at the size of it now. There's plenty of new flowers over it. All ready to become a new salmon berry. Here is my yellow summer fruiting raspberries. They're looking nice. Just gonna try one. Hmm. Oh, they're very good. It's juicy. Make sure there's no bug in it. Mmm, eat them before the kids get them. Some nice blueberries. They're actually a decent size. Yeah, not bad at all. Give them a little go. Mmm, very sweet. Literally nothing better. And coming down the plot and just enjoying some fresh fruit straight from the bush. Yeah, lovely. Okay, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe, put your thumb, hit the thumbs up button, and also turn on that little notification bell, and that'll help you be notified of all my new videos coming up. So thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for your support. Thanks for your lovely comments. Uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.